السلام عليكم ام سي سي ما شاء الله this this community is sick and tired of me they hear me every day here so we have all these giants that are here let them speak really no <laughs> imam zaid said to go so who's going to say no to imam zaid he's six feet four <laughs> mashallah um bismillah rahman rahim um imam siraj wahaj is uh, beloved to everybody i when i first started practicing islam uh, we used to go to mca and he used to come to MCA. I thought he actually lived down the street because every two weeks it was Imam Saraj Wahaj at MCA. And then I realized he's uh, in the East Coast. And he really inspired many of us. He's one of the giants of the Ummah. And we have benefited greatly from him. I personally uh, met him early on in the 90s. I'm not going to say when because you guys are going to figure out my age too. So I'll try to hide. Uh, but he... Uh, he was the first person to do a major event in 1999 uh, in Madison Square Garden uh, where um, he did a program called uh, Repairing America, Putting Allah First. And we flew from here, a bunch of youngsters went to New York and it was one of the most amazing uh, conferences. It was sold out and thousands of people came from all around the world. I remember the buses were coming from Philly and buses coming from DC and it was really an amazing scene to be part of. Um, and he's a He's an icon of the you know, Muslims in America. Uh, the man has done so much work that uh, I don't think that a conference like this can do justice. But just it, I'm, I'm so happy that, that uh, these works are done for him. We did another program for Imam Saraj Wahaj uh, at Chandani about uh, 11, 10 or 11 years ago, where we raised some money with, uh, with uh, Sheikh Hamza and some of the speakers. They came for his masjid program. But tonight is about just appreciating the teachers and those who have benefited us because without teachers there is no student and there's no other teachers every teacher had a teacher and one thing that uh, Imam Zaid said goes to talk about Maulana Rumi I said you don't have to tell me because everything I talk Rumi comes in uh, it's the fabric of my life but uh, Maulana Rumi was you know he wouldn't be Rumi if he didn't have Shams Tabriz so he had a master that made him who he is. One of the contemporary poets said about Maulana Rumi, he said, Heech kas as pisha khot chizi nashut. No one became someone just out of themselves. Heech ahan khanjari tizi nashut. And no piece of steel turned itself into a beautiful sword by itself. Heech shogirdi nashut ustada kar. No pastry maker, maker became this master chef of pastry. Until that master that we see now didn't start at the feet of another master as a student. And no Maulana, there were so many mullahs at the time of Maulana. There were so many of them. But he said, none of those Maulanas became, those Mullahs became the Maulana of Rome. Until it didn't become a student at the feet of Shams Tabriz. So all, everybody has to have the teachers. And we are benefiting and we are so blessed in this community to have such teachers. And to be sitting at the feet of these teachers and to benefit from them. And those who forget about their teachers, they will be forgotten. Those who forget about those people who, like what they were talking about earlier, a lot of people, they came to Islam through these people. Imam Saraj Wahad, Imam Zaid Shakir, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, all these, the giants of, our, of, of, of the West. But then, sometimes we forget who they are. And we think that we are something. And that's the danger of, of having little knowledge, that you think you have a lot of knowledge. One thing that Imam Fakhr Razi said, he said, Hargiz Dileman Za'il Mahroom Nashur. And Fakhr Razi, obviously, everybody knows him for his Arabic tafsir, commentary of the Quran, the masterpiece, 12 volume. Uh, but he did speak Persian fluent, and he has uh, writing in Persian. 
and he wrote many poems. But this poem, he wrote it, he said it uh, when he was 72 years old, in his last year of his life. He said, I was never deprived from learning knowledge, from seeking knowledge. Come on the asrar ke ma'loom nashud. To a degree that very few of the mysteries remained that wasn't unveiled to me. In other words, I exhausted knowledge. I learned it to every science. I mastered it. He said, I studied the sacred knowledge for 72 years in the daytime and in the nighttime. I didn't waste any of my time. I studied 72 years full time. And then I realized that I didn't know anything. That's the humility of a person like Imam Fakhr al-Razi. I realized that I didn't know anything. And the more you know, the reality is the less you know, because you would see how much there is to know. The humility is one of the things, Imam Saraj Wahaj, his humility is amazing. And if you look at his pictures, all the time he has a pocket right here with about six or seven pins, always. He always has those pins because he's always taking notes. And I've been in gatherings where if somebody said something, he, he just wrote it down. Just a humble human being, a beautiful human being. And just for people who have seen him, what an honor to see that man. If you have been in his presence to be giving him a hug and kisses his hand, what a blessing. And for us to know him, it's a blessing. An amazing man, a man of God, a man of humility. And may Allah protect him and his family in this trial time, inshallah. And we want to thank all our scholars and shuk, especially Imam Zaid, for putting this program together and, and uh, making sure that we actually honor our shuk and our scholars. May Allah bless all of you. Inshallah, time for wudu. As Sidi Ahsan said, let's not all of us go to the bathroom at the same time. Maybe uh, there's a few bathrooms they can talk about. People who need to make wudu for the guest. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Barahmatika ya arhamar rahmin.